My name is Will. I've been working for the Ramsey County Emergency Communications Center for a while now. Um, I've been in dispatching total for about 20 years at different agencies, and I, I find the job to be overall very rewarding. I was in the civil sector for a while, uh, civilian sector for a while, and uh, I can honestly say that I get a lot more gratification out of being able to help somebody out in this position. Uh, there was times uh, when the best I could say is I help someone repair a washer or a dryer or set up service like that. Here I get the opportunity to help people at a crisis, uh, at a crisis moment in their lives, uh, such as somebody having a heart attack, a baby not breathing, someone breaking into a house, uh, all these horrendous things that you only hear about in the newspapers. And, and I'm one of the voices that they get to talk to uh, when they're having these problems. Uh, I've heard lots of different uh, reasons for calling 911, um, and by all means, if you if someone needs to call 911, they should. If if you're ever in doubt, just call, and we'll try to help you out the best as we can. We do get lots of totally non-police or medical-related calls, such as people needing a ride because they don't have enough money. Uh, I did get a call in my pending queue one night about a lady from a lady that got evicted and needed to needed help with cleaning her apartment. Um, and, and the list kind of goes on. Uh, people have kind of treated this like a general catch-all for anything they can't figure out what to do with themselves. So I guess social worker and kind of helping out in that aspect is also kind of a bit of the job, not just the big drama calls. Uh, and really, that is nine-tenths of the call, is just helping people with very average, normal day-to-day -day problems like parking complaints and barking dogs and music that is too loud. And then from this litany of just common stuff, all of a sudden there'll be this big call where uh, people, someone has a gun and is shooting or a bank got robbed or, or, or something along those lines that focuses everybody, it's everybody's attention on that one uh, call. and. Uh, during the summer, it'll happen that we will have multiple events such as this occurring at the same time. So uh, boredom is usually not so much of an issue. Um, there is always something new. I can honestly say uh, that it's been very rare that I've had a boring moment doing this job. Uh, sometimes it gets to be the same thing over and over again because there, like I say, there are a lot of very common issues. But I can also say that it's, I've never left here feeling bored. Uh, what we're trying to do when we ask all these questions is we're trying to paint a complete picture of what's going on. Uh, the caller has to be our eyes and ears for what's going on at the scene. We have to be able to determine if they're getting the right resources. I mean, there's no sense in sending a, an ambulance to a barking dog complaint. That's a waste of a resource. So we need to ask questions and we need to be able to verify the information is correct before the officers or paramedics or fire department can even get there. But it's been kind of interesting over the last few years or a couple decades to watch how this has grown from such a casual approach to such formalized training. Um, now, I mean, I think we're up to maybe a couple of months total of, or a month or two of, of in-classroom training before they even get out on the floor, which I think is great. If somebody had given me that initially, I don't know uh, I mean, that would, be a, would have been a very valuable tool. People that expect closure in their job, this is a bad position for them because we never get to hear the end of the story. We get everybody started, they get there, make sure everybody's okay and in position, and then we go on to the next call. That's always, there's always something new that's coming up next and we never get a chance to finish out what we've done first before the next event is started. My name is Will. I work for Ramsey County Emergency Communications Center in St. Paul.